a state trooper came to my door and said, do you know Kirby Brown? She did. Virginia Brown is Kirby's mother. And that day, she learned her daughter was dead. She was cooked to death. That's how she died. This beautiful woman who was drunk on life and had friends all over. Kirby's life ended while she was trying to improve it. The surfer and avid horseback rider wanted more, a life partner, and help growing her business. That's when she found self-help guru James Arthur Ray. And I can help you. I really can. The motivational speaker had already built a multi-million dollar business, launched by the popular movie The Secret, and appearances on Oprah, Larry King, and The Today Show. She really was very taken and signed up immediately. She reached one of the highest level workshops, a retreat, which costs her her life savings, $10,000. During the five-day retreat at this campground outside Sedona, Arizona, participants were challenged to shave their heads, go on a 36-hour trek into the desert without food or water, and ultimately end up in a steaming hot sweat lodge, all in an effort to transform their lives. It was in the sweat lodge where it all went wrong. Hot rocks doused with water, creating steam and temperatures well past 100 degrees. Courtroom testimony revealed that people were screaming, throwing up, crying, and babbling. Others were passed out. 19 people ended up in the hospital that day. Mother of three, Liz Newman, died at the hospital. James Shore, a father of three, pulled one person to safety right past James Ray. Shore went back in to get Kirby Brown. According to witnesses, they lay dying inside the tent, feet away from Ray. What did James Ray do to my life? He blew up my life. A jury convicted James Ray of negligent homicide. He served 20 months in prison. After his release, Ray told CNN this about the sweat lodge. I didn't know, nor did anyone know, uh, that anyone was in, in a death, a life or death situation. He's now making another run at success as a motivational speaker, as documented in the CNN film Enlighten Us. I was involved in a terrible accident, and I lost three friends, people who I, I, I really cared about. His three good friends that he left in the dirt, unconscious, and did nothing to help them. Those were his three good friends? After her daughter died in Sedona, Virginia Brown started a nonprofit organization called Seek Safely, an educational tool to protect those interested in self-help. The $11 billion industry is not regulated. I want the story of her death to be that cautionary tale that will save other people's lives. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Sedona, Arizona.